John Lowry hanging out here this weekend with the Kalita team. That's a big name. Big name. DHL. CMR. Sean Langdon on the left side. Is he still in at Supercomp? Do you know? John, can you help us with that? Is he still in at Supercomp? Yes, I believe he is. John says yes. I believe he was calling the last round of Supercomp, so he is going to try to take him to two finals again this week like he did last week. And for Clay Millick, and that's a little different look. Summit. Clay has had a long time partnership with Summit. They expanded their commitment to the Parts Plus team, the Doug Stringer Group, earlier in the year and rolling in here to America's racetrack. They wanted to make sure Summit was high, wide, and handsome on the side of that machine. Yeah, great job by Summit. Clay Milliken is a beloved character in drag racing. And the car is coming around as well. Jimmo has got this thing tuned up. I think they're ready for a breakout. This would be a good place for it. Langdon left. Milliken right. Sight set right now on that Skag Power Equipment. Tony Schumacher driver, he is number one. Langdon out of the gas early, and Clay Milliken goes to the top. 3.844-308-78. Langdon goes 9.1 seconds, 69 miles an hour. We take another look. I'm sure we're going to see a cylinder out. But Clay Milliken just parked that summit car in the number one spot. Let's hear from John Kernan. Yeah, with Jim Overhofer and Jimmo, what do you think about that? I'll take it. You know, we've got summit. Uh performance with us this weekend and they're, they're such a great company i have a lot of great history with them over the years and you know we want to do good for them and um you know we've been working real hard on this uh, summit parts plus car to try to build some consistency and um we've been pushing it hard and we kind of think we've stumbled onto something at least with the engine that we think maybe we can uh play hardball with uh you know aj and grubby and and uh, hogan and all those guys but it's it's just fun being out here what a great facility and great fans and man i tell you what i love uh i love top fuel drag racing i love what he said aj grubby hoagie crew chiefs don't race other drivers they race other crew chiefs watching the replay right there you can see the cylinder out all the raw fuel coming out of that one pipe if the fuel volume overcomes the spark plugs it'll drown them out and there's so much fuel going through these cars you'll see it coming out of the pipes try this on for size if you think you've got a economy problem with whatever you drive to work Forget the burnout. Forget backing up. Forget everything else. Your top fuel car is staged. Light flashes. You hit the gas. Do you see the first orange block down there on the racetrack? It burns two gallons of fuel to get there. From the time the light flashes green till the time the car, the car passes that, two gallons of fuel. Now, next time you only get 22 miles a gallon. I don't want to hear it.